I'm Megan Bell, Elizabethtown College's Study Abroad Advisor, and I'm here to tell you the eight simple steps to studying abroad. The first step is to think why do you want to study abroad. It's important to ask yourself what do you want to get out of your study abroad experience. Are there certain courses you want to take? Are you interested in interning or conducting research? Is there a certain culture or language you're fascinated by and want to live in? Take some time to think about what inspires you to pursue study abroad. The second step is to talk to your academic advisor. They can help you figure out the best time to study abroad based on what classes you have taken and have yet to take. The sooner you talk to your academic advisor about this, the better. If you haven't declared a major yet, talk to the professor within your department of interest to get a better understanding of your remaining time on campus. Step three is simple. Finish watching this video. Videos, web pages, and events created by the Study Abroad Office are a great way to begin learning more about the study abroad process. Step number four is the scheduling a meeting with me. Once you've thought about what you want to do abroad, I can help you narrow down your program options, help you navigate the application process, recommend some scholarship opportunities, and answer any questions you may have and more. It's not until step five that you need to decide where you want to go. We have more than 40 different affiliated, aka pre-approved, semester program options, so I'm confident that we can find something for you. There's a complete list of affiliated semester programs, upcoming faculty-led programs, as well as recommended summer or winter programs on our website. Step number six is to secure financial aid. When you and I meet, we'll discuss the college's study abroad finance policies. I'll also outline scholarship opportunities, how much you should budget for your study abroad experience, as well as give you contact information for Etown's financial aid office if you have any additional questions about your personal finances. The seventh step is to start your Etown study abroad application. Once you're on the Etown study abroad website, you'll see a big apply now button. You can click on that to start your application. The application is really simple and shouldn't take you too long to complete. The final step is to start your intended programs application. You can find this application on your program's website. You should know which program you want to attend before starting this application, as you will need to pay an application fee for them to review your application. So again, that's two applications, one for eTown and one for your program. That's it! Eight easy steps to studying abroad. If you need anything through this process, please do not hesitate to contact me.